We are in November, end of November, and everyone's feeling a bit Christmassy. We're putting our decks up, uh, we've got the tree out. Yeah, we're starting early, I don't care. It's you gotta have a bit of fun sometimes. So, this comes out in England. Ben & Jerry's Minter Wonderland. I thought we'd have a look at this, see what it's like, recreate it. So, stick around, and we'll see if we can. So yeah, every year Ben & Jerry's in England release Minter Wonderland flavour. They also, interestingly enough, have a Minter Wonderland in the USA. Uh, it looks very different. So first thing we're going to do is open this one up and see what it's like. First thing, it's been out in the freezer for a while. Obviously, goes pretty hard, but it's obviously white. Now, what is it? Let, let's let's just describe it. It's mint ice cream with chocolatey chunks. That sounds really dull, but it's kind of mint choc chip. Mint choc chip is good. So maybe dull isn't the best way to describe it. It is exactly that. It is mint ice cream, peppermint ice cream with chocolate pieces in, or I should say chocolatey. If you watch this video, you know that I always take the piss out of Ben & Jerry's chocolatey. Um, it's something to do with the fact that they add some other bits to the chocolate when they create it, and legally they can't call it chocolate. It's chocolate. So, it's a strong mint flavour in this. So we're going to make this mint choc chip ice cream. Sounds really boring. But how about... Classic. Sounds classic, apparently. So how about we also make the USA Minter Wonderland and see how it compares. Now what is the USA flavor? It is dark chocolate mint ice cream with marshmallow swirls and chocolate cookie swirls. Does sound a bit better to me. So let's make them both. As this is just plain mint choc chip ice cream, we're gonna start with our milk in the pan. To that, we're gonna add our sugars. So we've got sucrose and dextrose here. Give them a stir, heat that milk up slightly just to make sure they're dissolved. Then when it's up to kind of 50, 60 degrees centigrade, add in your milk powder, make sure that's completely dissolved and then take it off the heat, put it into a container, add in your cream, and then finally your mint extract. This is Nielsen Macy peppermint extract and we're using two teaspoons, so 10 grams. Nice strong flavor here. Once you've done that, give it one final stir and then put it in a fridge to chill down for about four hours. So now we're going to make the USA Minter Wonderland base. Again, it's it's chocolate mint, so it's basically the same as the other one, but with some cocoa powder added. So again, we're going to start with our milk and add that into the pan, add in our sucrose and dextrose, make sure that's completely dissolved, bringing it up to 50, 60 degrees centigrade. Then again, we're going to add in our milk powder, but at the same time, you're going to add in cocoa powder. So this is a full fat, so 22 to 24% cocoa powder. Add it in, get it completely homogenized. As you can see, sometimes it will take a while, but it will eventually get there. Take it off the heat, add in your cream, and again, finally, your peppermint extract. Again, 10 grams here in this mixture, nice strong flavor, and it's wiped me out of Nielsen Macy peppermint extract. Once that's done, into the fridge for another three or four hours. Rather than do lots of individual churns, what we're gonna do is take both these mixers out of the fridge, pop them in your machine to churn away. Now why 
whilst your first or your UK mint chocolate chip ice cream is in your machine, you're gonna take some dark chocolate. This is 60% chocolate. Get it chopped up somewhat to whatever kind of sizes you like. In the UK mint or wonderland tub, the sizes of chocolate pieces vary considerably from tiny little flecks to quite large pieces. It's completely up to you what size you do it. When you're at the end of the churn, put that chocolate in and then you can start loading up the tub. Again, when it's full, pop it in a freezer for three or four hours. The USA Minter Wonderland is another step or two here. So we're gonna create a marshmallow fluff. So for this, what you're gonna do is put your egg whites, your sugar, your golden syrup or corn syrup, if that's what you're using, and your cream of tartar into a bowl over a simmering water and then slowly heat it up to 70 to 75 degrees, making sure that that sugar is completely dissolved. At that point, take it off the heat and then get in there with your hand whisk or your stand mixer and just keep on going. Eventually, what will happen is your mix will turn into a really nice, thick, gooey, luscious marshmallow fluff. At that stage, you can put it in a container and keep it at room temperature for a few hours or pop it in a fridge overnight. I thought about making cookies for this, but rapidly changed my mind. So I went to the shops and bought some of these cookies you, you can see here. These are double chocolate cookies. They actually look pretty decent. So taking them out, chopped them up into one centimeter cubes and just pop them in a container and keep that container to the side because we're gonna start loading up the tub. So once your ice cream is completely churned, what you're gonna do is layer in that, the ice cream itself, with a sprinkling of your cookie pieces and a good old dollop of your marshmallow fluff. Keep loading up the tub until all space is taken up or all your ingredients used up, whatever one comes first, and then put it in the freezer for again, a good few hours. So there's a lot more work in the USA one than there is in the UK one, but it does sound a bit more interesting. So we're gonna get some of each scooped up onto here and compare the two. First things first, this kind of looks like cookies and cream. It, it's a white-ish ice cream with dark specks in it. So that is to me, instantly not as appealing as this one but then this one kind of looks like fish food so you can't win anything can you in this game let's see what this one the uk version is like compared to the actual tub tastes the same looks the same tastes the same so we've achieved the uk minta wonderland ice cream. I don't have the USA one to hand. We can't buy it over here. I've actually never had it. So I went on to Ben & Jerry's USA, had a look at what the flavor was, asked a few people, saw some pictures, and that's how I came up with this one. It is more appealing to me. I'm a chocolate ice cream fan. So marshmallow fluff, chocolate pieces. These are chocolate pieces. No, these are cookie pieces. There's no chocolate in here, apart from the ice cream. I'll just eat the damn thing. Instantly, that one is much nicer to eat for me. As a chocolate ice cream fan, as I've mentioned, it, it sits better in my mouth. It's not quite as bland, plain and boring as mint choc chip can be, but it is winter. So I kind of wonder, mint ice cream is often an ice cream served in the summer when you need something a bit lighter on your palate whereas chocolate ice cream is often served in the winter where that extra fat makes it linger on your tongue a bit more so i kind of think the uk ben and jerry's have missed a trick here they probably should have just copied the us version because i think that's a bit more appropriate for the time of year but hey each to our own if you love mint choc chip ice cream you can buy this because that's what you're going to get if you want something a little bit more and you're in the usa Minta Wonderland is a really nice mix of flavors and that marshmallow fluff is really, really good. I used to make it without the corn syrup or golden syrup, but I add it every time now because it just seems to make it a bit stickier, which is perfect for ice cream, really. Mm. It's really, really nice. And interestingly enough, 
If you make the marshmallow fluff that I put in the description for this and the previous video, it keeps in the freezer. So you can, any excess that you have, put it in a tub, put it in a freezer, and you'll still be able to scoop it ready when you want to use it on ice cream. It won't go hard, it won't separate. So that's a big bonus. So there we go, the comparison of UK versus USA Mint to Wonderland. I want to thank everyone for watching and thank you to our supporters on Ko-fi. We're getting quite a few people come on there now offering their support to the channel. Uh, you can either do that via a monthly subscription or a one-off or even just join us and say hello and get involved with the conversation. It's a way to support the channel before YouTube actually picks us up and allows us to monetize. So if you want to head over to Kofi and say hello, I'll put the link on the screen. I'll also put it in the description below and we'll see you there. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Take care and we'll see you next week.